Good morning. So, yeah, that's me. Um, we're about to go to the Winter Harvest Festival that's held in Arachula, Queensland. It's about an hour's drive away from Brisbane and it's in the Scenic Rim region, which is this wonderful range of uh, mountains and forests that is located in southeastern Queensland or northeastern New South Wales. It goes along the border. And Study Brisbane actually gotten us tickets to the Winter Harvest Festival event. This event will showcase the best grown produce like uh, carrots, tomatoes that are grown in the Scenic Rim region. And we're going to try some food from the local eateries that use the local ingredients to make their wonderful food. I can't wait to show you what kind of food we'll have there and I'll show you the best of the festival. So come along with me, we're going to meet the ambassadors right now. So let's go! So about after an hour of driving from Brisbane, we are finally at Arachula. This is in the Scenic Rim region. This is a region, look if you can see the mountains behind me. That's all part of the Scenic Rim and we are surrounded by these beautiful mountains here in this region. So this is where the Winter Harvest Festival is held at and it brings the best of the Scenic Rim's local food, the local produce, your carrots, your potatoes. And fun fact, along the way actually the driver shared with us that um, this region is actually responsible for one third of Australia's carrot supply. So we're really interested to find out the local food here. We're, I'm very excited to go and try out the local produce. So let's go have a look. I got a carrot fudge. Carrot fudge. You know you're having we are having one too, right? Yeah, I have one just now. First up, we got the Queenslander pizza and cheese pesto pizza from Fire and Dovewood Fired Pizzas. So the pizzas were cooked at 400 degrees for 90 seconds. I even got to try my hand at it, but I was too scared I would stuff up, so I left it to the pros. I'm glad I did because the pizza was magnificent. It was not too greasy, but still very flavorful. You can taste the quality of the flour, and I don't know how that's possible. You can taste the flour. The crust has this really wheaty taste and, and a very like almost starchy kind of tapioca kind of aftertaste. Next I got the citrus tart which was one of my desserts. It was topped with pistachio and other candied nuts. I think the sweetness of the candied nuts really offsets the acidity from the citrus and the nuts really complemented the combination of the two different kinds of flavours. Last but not least, wow this is like my ultimate favourite. It's the lemon sorbet and strawberry ice cream from Lemon Lovers Gelato. With the lemon sorbet, they really knew what they were doing as the sorbet was really well balanced between the sour, sweet and creamy flavours. The sugar and milkiness also cuts back on the sour, which I don't know, wow, they managed to really pull that off. With the strawberry ice cream, it showcased the quality of the dairy and the milky flavour. And this scoop of ice cream was actually more to a yogurt kind of feel. So good. Mm -hmm. So we've actually uh, drove out from the festival already and what a day it is to be out of the city, into the countryside, into this wonderful scenic rim region at the Winter Harvest Festival having all that great produce that's come out of this region. Uh, the rain came down at the festival a couple of minutes ago and uh, we had to call it a day early uh, but really huge thank you to the study Brisbane and Brisbane marketing team who have sent us here. 
Thank you so much. It was a wonderful day. I really enjoyed the wood fire pizza, the citrus tart, and the ice cream, which is lemon sorbet and strawberry flavor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so thank you for sending us here. Um, I hope to make another video soon. So stay tuned for that. See you guys.